The next item on the checklist is looking through the long list of specifications you'll find on the box or website of the headphone manufacturer. Now, the good thing is that most of these specs really aren't that important. Now, many sales reps and companies of consumer headphones, I've seen this a ton at Best Buy, Apple stores, and other places like this, they're going to make a big deal about frequency response. That is the spectrum of sound that the headphones can produce, from the lowest lows to the highest highs. Now, I'm going to get bashed on this next commentary, but I'm going to say it anyway because I legitimately believe it to be true. 99% of the time, the frequency response just doesn't matter. Just because a headphone can produce a wide spectrum of sound doesn't make the headphone good. Not to mention that half the time the manufacturer straight up lies about the frequency response. It's like a minivan that has a speedometer from zero to 180 miles per hour. Now, when you get into the car and see that speedometer, you're gonna think, holy crap, this minivan is fast. But what the manufacturer doesn't tell you is that the car rattles and red lines in six gear at 100 miles per hour. So just do yourself a favor and disregard frequency response and don't let anyone talk you into thinking that it's very important either. Now some headphones, usually higher performance headphones, will provide what's called a frequency spectrum graph. And yes, these are helpful. They're pretty easy to read without getting too difficult either, but let me preface it by explaining sound signature. Bass, mid-range, and treble frequencies can be divided onto a graph. For example, a bass guitar, female vocalist, and crash cymbal don't share the same frequency. To know what instruments fall into what frequency range, there's a great frequency chart that gives examples that I've linked down below in the description box, so check that out. Now, a frequency graph reads with the lower, or bass, to the left, and the high end, or the trebles, to the right, with the mids stuck right in the middle. Now, if you want tons of bass, then you should probably find a headphone with a graph that has a higher decibel response, and that's a fancy wording for more volume or emphasis, to the left. If you don't love bass, we'll say you like listening to classical music, maybe you would be better suited for headphones that have a little bass roll off and have more emphasis on the mid and high mid end frequencies. This video is a series and consists of several different parts. Select the video that you'd like to watch and click on the corresponding annotation. If you're on a mobile device, you'll be unable to click the annotations and thus the links to the other videos are provided in the video description below.